Today we're going to make a video about the different sorts of products, the different categories of products we use for oiling and greasing your stroller. And so I wanted to talk about three general categories. The first is this one. This is a multi-spray. You do not need to use any of the brands here. It's just this is what I'm using at the moment due to availability. But uh, the most common brand for your spray grease will be WD-40. Uh, here in Norway, there's a CRC-56. Um, both of them have the same effect as is this. It's a multi-spray grease. Uh, the second product or category of product is going to be silicon spray. And uh, there's a variety of different brands for that as well. And the third is thicker grease. In this case, I've been using a lot of food industry grease uh, that has to do with the brands of stroller that I'm working on mostly now. But uh, before, when I was working on a wider variety of brands of stroller, I tended to use a thicker car grease. So if you go to a car supply shop and look for like a multi-purpose grease, and it'll be something thick, um, then that also works for the majority of applications. And I'll talk a little bit about, uh, about the difference between uh, the thicker multi-purpose grease that you would get from an auto store and a food industry grease and the different sorts of um, mechanisms and, and effects you'll have. So looking at the uh, first one is the multi-spray, the WD-40. And uh, this is really good for uh, areas of strollers where you don't want to disassemble the mechanisms. You don't want to disassemble the stroller and you need to spray in. So uh, first example I'm going to use is the ball bearings. I don't want to have to take apart this wheel in order to get to the ball bearings, but I can just spray it in and it'll run down into the ball bearing, right? Uh, you want to use this generally when you're dealing with metal, like metal on metal or metal on plastic. It's uh, the most uh, slippery, the most viscous of all of the different products, categories of products. Um, and it really helps with any sort of grit or rust that has started to build up uh, to keep the different metal components moving smoothly against each other. Yeah? Okay, the second category then is silicon spray. And you want to use silicon spray when you're dealing primarily with plastic parts. You can also use it on metal and uh, it's supposed to have a certain protection actually against rust, although it's not the same sort of protection you would get if you applied Rust Eater. We have other videos on Rust Eater and that's meant for removing rust and providing an anti-oxidizing layer. However, this also produces a layer on top of the parts involved. So uh, for example, I have this Boogaboo B seat. This has a lot of mechanisms that are primarily plastic and you can just spray in and it will also run down. And if I were to disassemble any of these mechanisms, then I would also use uh, some of this sort of spray. Um, it's going to uh, produce a slipperiness or a um, make it easier for the components to move against each other. Uh, and it's gonna produce that layer that's going to be very effective, yeah? It's not very effective, I find, in terms of metal on metal, if you just need to get a mechanism to move move smoother. It doesn't have the same viscosity as um, WD-40 or that sort of a spray. Uh, but I will generally use this, prefer this one, when I'm dealing with plastic on plastic. The third category is the thicker greases. So. The thicker greases are good for any sort of mechanism that uh, is, is like a more heavy duty mechanism on the stroller. Um, but the primary area where I use this, move a chassis into place, is on front swivel wheels. So a lot of uh, strollers wind up having trouble with their front swivel wheels that uh, you get like wobbly issues. If they're serious, you need to use mechanical means like butterfly washers to fix them. But uh, they don't move quite as well after a while, yeah? And with this thicker grease, you're gonna really get a good layer between the different components for them to move well together. And this is why there's that thicker automotive grease. You know, cars have these uh, large metal mechanisms that need to be well greased as they move against each other. So you can apply it and then put it in and then let it move around and it will get all spread out over the mechanism. 
So now, when I'm dealing with um, a select number of brands, in particular stock trails or stock cruisy, I would only use the food industry grease. Yeah, it's it has a, in in comparison with the thicker multi-purpose car grease, it's not as slippery. It's not as viscous. So it's going to create a certain amount of traction, a certain amount of resistance to turning. But this is also going to help uh, with things like um, the wheels wobbling and so on. In other with other strollers like this one, virtually all other strollers than um, than stock, I would first apply the food industry grease or the car grease, and then I would further oil it with the WD-40 and mix it together. And what this will do is that uh, the WD-40 will lend some of its viscosity to the food industry grease and make it slipperier, but the food industry grease will continue to maintain that like thicker covering uh, which means that the WD-40 effect will last longer. So now it, it's a smoother move, yeah? Uh, the WD-40 effect will last longer. What happens when you're just using WD-40 on these uh, thicker sorts of mechanisms is that it, it runs out. It runs away, it gets too thin, and it, it doesn't function, and you have to do it more often. So if you want the effect to last longer, then you can use food, food industry grease or the car grease and apply WD-40 and sort of mix it together and you'll get that um, really slippery, viscous sort of a connection, but it's thicker and it'll hold for a while. The other time when I would use this is if I'm disassembling larger mechanisms, such as on this Buffalo, the central mechanism, or a better example would be the central locking mechanism on a baby jogger, because that has a lot of like thick metal gear teeth that uh, go together. So, but looking at like this mechanism, if I if this mechanism feels a bit tight and I don't want to disassemble it, then I'm just going to take the WD-40 and I'm going to spray it in the cracks. And I'm going to trust that the thinness of the product and the incredible slipperiness is going to run down into the mechanism. Yeah? However, if I want to do a more thorough job and I'm dismantling the mechanism anyway, then I might take some of the components and rub them with the food industry grease or the thicker car grease and then use some WD-40 to get that effect that'll last longer before I put it all back together. Uh, and, and that, you know, on an enclosed mechanism like that, it's going to last for a long time if you combine those two. You know, we're talking like a year or two, depending, of course, on... on um, how you're using the stroller. Sometimes I open up strollers that I can tell are like four or five years old and I can still see the traces of uh, the thicker grease that is in there. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little bit of advice on uh, the different sorts of products you can use for oiling and greasing your stroller, the different applications, the different places on the stroller where they would be relevant and how to apply them. And uh, we hope that this video has been helpful. If it has, then we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Uh, we will try to get some product links up below the video, um, but uh, of course the product types change depending on where you are in the world. Um, but you should be able to find some sort of products that match each of these different areas. Thank you.